Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Sunset Harbor DLC. We are back here in the fine city of Kelly Creek, and we're here today. Whoa, that. I will show you today how to build the forest industry. So, we do need to start making money in the city. I'm going to show you how to build the forest industry. And uh, first and foremost, let's get going. So over here, I did buy a couple tiles. As you can tell, if I zoom out, I bought these three where the cursor is. And so I'd like to build the forest industry up in this region. <laughs> <laughs> let's get going so the first thing we need to do is pretty simple we are going to go down here and we are going to find our industrial area and we are going to try to make this as big as possible Ooh, we do have a little bit we do have a little bit of farming and we do have a little bit of ore but this is going to be our basic forest industry so we just put on the generic boring we painted the oh my god what? industry now we what we need to do is paint the district so we do need to go over this i know this is boring you guys have seen this before but this is going to be the area where we work and build our force industry so that's pretty perfect right now now what you do need to do is once you're done painting the district you do need to label it so make sure you're on the forest and boom you label it force industry so whoa that's weird so what we're gonna do next is we are going to create a road layout for the forest industry and I'm gonna do this connection in a little bit uh, I it will take a little bit of time so don't worry about that right now so what we're gonna do is first and foremost is we're gonna go up here about 2100 give or take and I am using an industrial road or medium industrial road excuse me so our next step is I do want to add another roundabout now if you if you're like well didn't you just do this sports monkey yeah I did just do this but we're gonna actually have a different setup for the forest industry and it's not gonna be the exact same thing so don't worry about that guys so let's go back to our roads now we have so we basically have what we what we kind of did before now we uh, with <laughs> with our city now what we're gonna do is over here is gonna be where our our plantations are gonna be and stuff like that and then on the left hand side is everything that's pretty much processing so your sawmills and stuff like that so th we're gonna keep them separate because the production area does pr produce pollution and we could technically pollute our plantation so what we're gonna do next is pretty simple I'm gonna go back to one-way roads with trees so what we're gonna do is see how it's measured about that's about nine units I'm gonna go about to here which is the second node over and we're gonna go up 420 we're also gonna do that over here go up 420 so what we're trying to do in this area is folk make sure all the traffic is going into our plantation region so that is the goal for right now is to make sure that oh, I guess I could have used the whatever it's all right anyways um, so our goal is to actually make sure all the traffic in this area for the for the plantation stays in this area so what we're gonna do next is this is gonna be kind of like our main art main road for getting into the plantation so we're gonna go back to our dirt paths and we're gonna start going up and we're gonna start doing we're gonna do basically the same thing that we did whoa that was not good ah! okay now that we have our one-way roads going up from the main Avenue we're gonna actually kind of create a grid like situation so I'm gonna go up 700 and then I'm gonna try to do the same thing up here go up 700 and just kind of make it a square so the next part we're gonna do is we need to lay down these pl small plantations so what we're gonna do this is key guys so this is a very big step when you're actually building these things um, building the forest industry well first okay guys so we are a level one forest industry we don't have many things to choose from we have the main building which we just placed and then we have a few plantations 
well actually one plantation it's the small tree plantation then we have a sawmill and a log yard so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here so I'm gonna get out of this view for one second so see how we have over here we have our dirt roads well what we're gonna do is what we're gonna actually build our plantations in this region so let's get started with that and let's go over here and boom so what we're gonna do is see how we well you can't really see it but there's the dirt path we created we're gonna place a few of these down in a row but we're not gonna place them exactly next to each other so if I zoom out there you go and basically they aren't next to each other perfectly so that's actually good and we're just tr for the traffic purposes we're just trying to make sure that all of these are not going on the same road so basically these three plantations are going to use this road then we're going to repeat that a few more times so basically guys i'm not going to make you watch this but i will fast forward so give me one second while i add all these in six and a half hours later okay guys so now that we have our plantations and everything in place what we're going to do next is we need to create the processing plant area so what we're going to do is we're going to force traffic to go over this direction. So our goal essentially is, let's get it to about there. Our goal is to make sure all this traffic from our plantations is going this way towards our processing plants. And then this way we're kind of creating a circle. So everything will be processed over here and then goods will be able to go out and then the trucks can go back in. So let's come, now that we're over here, we're going to grab, we need a better artillery, art, artillery, art, artery road. There we go. Jesus, sports monkey. You are on fire with this video. So now that we have that, that let's grab another industrial road and we're going to, we're going to change it to a two way road and we'll have it go down like that. I don't know if that's a perfectly, is that perfectly straight? I'm gonna try to make this as perfectly straight as possible. Okay, so as you guys know, we're only a level one. Okay guys, as you can tell, I do have a couple one-way roads going this direction and we'll be doing the same over here. And we do need to add a couple more things to our forest industry before it officially can start. We do already have the main building. We already have our plantations. We do need to add a sawmill. So we do have a couple of these that we need to build and I do want to add them right over here. The reason behind that is I want this traffic to kind of stay away from these main roads. So this shouldn't be too bad at all. Now the next thing we need to do is we need some, what is it? It's the log storage, excuse me. What, why am I blanking? Oh my gosh. So it is a small log yard. So we do have a couple of those. Now we could place them right there, but we're not going to do that. Essentially, we will just add another road and we'll bring it over here and we'll do literally the same thing we just did. We want to make sure the traffic is not going to get too congested. So we're going to have that over there. And now the next part of this whole thing is I am going to add one more of those. So don't, you know, don't freak out guys. So we're going to add one more of these little areas where we can Oh, that was not straight. So essentially this whole, a lot of this video is basically about traffic and how to manage it in the forest industry. So now that we have that, I'm gonna add a couple more of these log yards. So now we do need to add the basic services. Yes, I realize I don't have that yet, so that's okay. So let's bring our water all the way up here and then we'll basically add it all in this area so our entire forest industry should have water for the time being obviously this is this forest industry is going to grow so don't think it's you know don't, don't think we're done building it because we're only a level one forest industry so we have a long way to go all right so the next thing we need is our basic power which is fine get x that out grab our power we're just going to grab it from here come on boom and boom okay guys so what I'm gonna do next while you guys are gone I am going to actually I'm going to detail this area and I will you guys will see the next finished detailed area once it's done so but guys I will be right back two hours later 
Okay guys, so we are back in our forest industry after that small amount of detailing that I left you off with that I need to do. So this is our processing plant area. As you can tell, the traffic is fantastic. We did level up to a two star forest industry. So I did add a sawdust plant. I did add a biomass pellet plant. So we do have that going on and things are actually becoming really, really profitable for us. So just real quick, when you are building the forest industry, um, there is small detailings that you can do to your forest industry to make it look better. For example, I did add a lot of fencing and tree detailing. As you can tell, it makes it look a lot better. Uh, you can add these three by two buildings that automatically render with the force industry. So it's three by two, just the basic yellow force industry and everything you know turns out really, really, really nice. So basically, um, as you can tell, I do have these little openings with fencing. I'm waiting for industri industry to force industry to fill in and buildings to be created. And just overall though, this turned out really, really well. As you can tell, everything looks really good. We do have our small forest plantation then we do have the other saplings the small saplings that are created so we have a massive forest industry so when you are building the forest industry remember to leave yourself a lot of space because this is a massive massive industry so guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below um if i hit the escape button real quick we will need to add some residential as you can tell we have some um uh, we have some death and I was really not paying attention to the city while I was building forest industry, but we do need um, jobs and we do have a massive, we just basically need to add more residential. So guys, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, but we will be back next week and hopefully everybody has a great weekend. Thank you very much. Have a great day.